Hi guys, Dil here from Useframe. Uh, today I'm going to go through the setup process of the 21 inch gold frame. Uh, we're going to go step by step of what you need to do to get your Museframe up and running. Alright, step one. First, unbox your Museframe from, from the box, pull it out, and you'll notice that the, the wall bracket is attached to the Museframe. So what you're going to need to do is grab a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the one little screw on the back to disconnect that bracket from the frame. Step two. Once you've got the bracket off the frame, you want to get the Wi-Fi dongle, which is the small plastic um, stick that's in the box, and you want to screw that into the back of the frame. That's going to give your frame the Wi-Fi connection that it needs to run. Step three. Once you remove the bracket from the Muse frame, you want to hold the bracket up with the curved part facing upwards. Once you've got that orientation correct, you want to put it against the wall and screw it into the wall, keeping the level right so the bracket is correctly orientated. Step four. Once you've got the bracket in the correct spot, use the screws and the plugs that you've been given to screw the bracket into the wall. Make sure you're screwing into a solid wall or at least a stud behind the wall so that the bracket is secure. Step five, now that the bracket is attached to the wall, grab your muse frame and plug in the power to the back of the frame. Step six, grab your muse frame and slowly slide the back of the muse frame onto the bracket on the wall in the orientation that you want it in. Once it's slid in and secure on the bracket, you can easily rotate it horizontal or vertical based on your preference. Once you've got your Muse frame set up, you want to get some batteries and put them in the wired remote. Once you've got your remote sorted, you want to connect your frame to Wi-Fi. One thing to note with the remote control is if you click this button here, it turns the remote control from a remote into a, a mouse cursor and you'll need that for some of the functionality. So with MuseFrame, there's three different ways to showcase digital art. The first way is through the MuseFrame software. So what you want to do is select the MuseFrame on your frame, you want to jump on your mobile app, connect to your digital wallets and showcase all of your NFTs. The second way is through Sedition. Access their evolving library of over 5,000 pieces of art instantly just by selecting the Sedition app on the frame and the QR code scan through your mobile phone. And lastly, if you want to showcase art that isn't an NFT yet, Jump onto the looping media player on the home screen and you can showcase any art that you've got, MP4s, GIFs, images, right onto the news frame. Just so you know, your frame's got 16 gig of memory, so you can always just transfer any files via USB and save them onto the frame. The news frame app also has a cache in it, so if the Wi-Fi ever dies, the digital art will save into the cache and your, your frame won't stop playing art. Other than those three ways of showcasing art, you've also got settings and file managers, so you can jump into the back end of the frame and do anything, adjust any settings that you like because the frame is built in an Android operating system, so it has all the functionality that Android would. Thanks guys, that's it for the setup guide. Let me know if you have any questions and just reach out to me and we're happy to talk you through it.